what's going on everyone this is Gordon here and uh, I just asked myself this question like many times throughout uh, my golfing life I've seen a really good ball striker and I've asked them like what their swing thought is what they're thinking about what they're trying to do um, you know how do they hit it so well just trying to suck any type of tip or any type of um, you know valuable piece of info or whatever right from them you know, right, right straight from the guy who's doing it, not the teacher, not the person who has the theory, but by the person who's hitting it far and on a rope, you know, right in front of your face, under pressure, with a bunch of people watching. And uh, I've, I've asked this to, to quite a few people because there's, there's, been, there's been so many that I've seen or got to hang out with. And a lot of the times what baffled me was um, they would say, like, I don't know. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I uh, you know, I just focus on hitting it or I just focus on bombing it or I just, or I just do, you know, I just make my move, whatever, you know, I just do what I do. I, I'm really not sure how. And, uh, and so that would really frustrate me and it would cause me to question, like, I guess myself as like an athlete, like, am I just not meant for golf like am I you know am I going to continue to hit weak slices my whole life or uh you know I'm just thinking about different things I've thought about or should I just get really good at short game and um you know or should I just focus on being straight and super short you know just just poke it out there a little bit not hit it hard enough to hit it offline and and then just just you know inch my way up to uh the green and just have a killer short game from 100 150 yards in, you know, will I ever actually be a good ball striker? And um, this, this went through my head for years, you know, just uh, just asking people. And then what I just realized is, is uh, well, I didn't just realize this, but just putting it together, I realized like everyone I did ask, they said they, they didn't know. They didn't really know what they were doing. And, um, you know, there's, there's some that do, for sure, and uh, a couple that I can think of that come to mind. But the guys that don't know what they're doing, they really just stand up and hit it. There, there's a few things that I can think of going on. For one, which is obvious, their fundamentals are are generally standard and and quote unquote correct. You know, their um, their uh, their grip is decent. You know, uh, it's not compl it's not a beginner's grip. You know, it's something that's been honed and and it's consistent every time. Um, you know, they have a general knowledge of ball position and, and how to stand athletically and such, but it comes down to what are they doing in their swing to, for one, get this uh, stable impact where the club face isn't really open here and then closing rapidly so it could be open or, or closed. You know, it's square and then it's driven through. And, uh, you know, what are, what are these guys doing? Uh, or I guess the better question is, yeah, what are they doing that they don't know they're doing? And that is moving athletically. It's moving with body rotation. It's moving to get the club on a good plane, on on plane we'll call it, uh, and with club face stability and speed. Because the faster you swing, and not for you personally swinging out of your shoes to where you just want to make the club head go fast, but swinging you know eighty five percent of your of your potential and still hitting it straight. There's certain things that are going on in your body that are cause and effect that are the the reason you can or, or that person can hit it well, and uh, and so here's the thing is they're doing it, and for me I wanted to be able to do it, but I thought it was in my head, I thought it was a swing thought, I thought it was a thing to focus on, but no, it's movement patterns, it's it's. Um, it's learning how to move more athletically. It's learning how to uh, take care of maybe injuries or sore spots in the body and get more mobility and agility and use your fascia's elasticity and, um, and use whatever athleticism you have. And then also to somehow work on improving your ability to move and have athleticism because... You know, if you took, say, a 70-year-old person that a uh, golfer of a couple years their back is all locked up, you know, their, um, their hips are all locked up, their, their arm, just mobility and agility in their entire body is locked up. So, but still, that seven-year-old person 
has the ability to get better, to be able to move more, to move differently, to work on their movements and, and their movement in their body and their ability to do different things. Um, and then for, say, a person from the ages of 15, even people at 15 have, have uh, movement and posture uh, weaknesses. But, you know, say from 15 to 60, you know, those people really have a ton of potential. And um, unlocking that potential, I guess, is, uh, yeah, is, is playing different sports, learning how to move differently. And then the key is you could have a really good athlete and for one reason or another, say a really good mover, and they don't move well in the golf swing. And a reason for that could be faulty instruction. They have the player focusing on doing things that are ridiculous, like like getting all of your weight be, you know, onto beyond your left side, uh, like at impact. And I know this sounds pretty controversial, especially if you don't know uh, Kelvin Meher's research um, and such. But if you get all of, if you try and get all of your weight over there, you're very likely going to slide even more, and you're going to uh, jump, stall, flip. <laughs> you're going to do everything that screws up ball striking. So. Um, Anyway, so, so, so for example, maybe even, you could even maybe talk about Tiger, like, you know, he's, he's had what, what many consider a perfect swing, you know, hitting, hitting fairways and hitting along and hitting tons of greens and doing really well on the par threes too, which is really, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, um, exemplifies, it shows your ability to strike a ball because doing well on par threes is, it's not easy, you know, to make birdies and he's made tons in his heyday. So anyways, people, you know, I guess, I guess where I'm getting at is when it comes down to ball striking, there's no getting away from some things. And if you want to become a better ball striker or teach people how to become a better ball striker, you have to know um, what movements to be able to do during the swing. And there's three stages. There's getting better moves, being able to move better, so like unlocking an old spine or uh, or body work, agility, mobility, um, uh, you know, fixing injuries, etc. Building the body and, and learning the moves, learning athletic movement. And then, and then three is doing those moves during the golf swing, say just on the range. You know, actually being able to hit a ball with the moves. That would be step two. And that's tough. Like these two stages, number one and two are really tough steps actually being able to move better and then being able to move better while hitting a golf ball, two tough steps. Number three is doing it automatically on the golf course when you're trying to score. And that's where, that's when you get a, a phenomenal golfer. That's when you get a golfer that really has control and power at the same time and they shoot better scores than they ever have and they're, they're better than lots of their peers because they're doing things better. And then the short game is a whole other uh, place to go into but I'm just talking about the swing right now you know being able to hit greens and keep it in play and get to the green better than anyone so having some power as well anyways uh, this is Calvin's article on drive holding and um, you can learn some of the movements here and this is what I've been studying and why I went to learn from Calvin and get certified in his work and how to change swings change movement patterns and uh, make people better so hopefully if you uh, yeah, if you want to get better ball striking, you know, there's only so far you can go with, you know, pre-shot routine, with, uh, with tips, you know, with, um, uh, with course management, with all that. There's only so far that a person can get with that. Okay, those things are paramount, but there's only a certain uh, level you can get it without actually improving your, your ball striking. Um, so anyway, uh, that is it, and uh, thanks for listening, and uh, the rant over, I just, um, it's just amazing how, uh, I don't know, I guess what I've been learning lately, and how I've been implementing it in my swing, and uh, working with Kelvin, and then realizing all these things from the past, of, of really obsessing about how to become a better ball striker, and then finally, it's all coming together. Um, yeah, this article is great, this is Kelvin Miyahira. Essentials of the Drive Hold Swing on a little around Hawaii uh, site. He's got some incredible articles. Hopefully you check it out. If you have any questions, let me know.
If you want me to do a swing video, let me know. Uh, it'd be a pleasure. And um, just let me know if you have any questions. Bye for now.